Hello from the Gigant factory in Dinklage. Today I'll be showing you how to change the brake linings on a 5.5 tons rigid axle. To check whether the brake shoes need to be replaced, we have inserted two inspection holes in the dust cover, which are sealed with plugs. If we open them, we can determine the level of wear on the brake shoes. If the brake shoes need to be replaced, it must be ensured that the vehicle is secured against rolling away and that the general safety rules are observed. Now we can disassemble the wheel. Then we turn the adjusting screw of the automatic slack adjuster counterclockwise until the brake linings are released from the brake drum and the brake drum can move freely. Now we can dismantle the drum. If the brake drum does not pull off easily, we have inserted two threaded holes into the drum where we can use screws to push the drum off the hub. If we pull off the brake drum, now the brake shoes is exposed. Yep. Now the benefit of having a gigant axle becomes clear. There is no need to disassemble the hub to replace the brake linings. However, the fixed point spring does still need to be removed. To do so, I take the screwdriver and push the fixed point spring forward. Now I push the lower brake shoe down and to the side past the hub. And with the upper one I do the same. Then I can easily remove the brake shoes. Now that we have disassembled the brake shoes, we check the fixed point rings and if necessary, we replace them. A kit of brake linings consists of two tension springs, two fixed point springs and four bracket shoes. All spare parts can be viewed and ordered on our website. To be able to install the brake linings, they must be connected with the tension spring. A lug is incorporated into the brake lining holder for this purpose. Once we have connected the two brake shoes with the tension spring, I turn the lower brake shoe with the fixed point side outwards to make it easier to install. I hook the upper brake shoe into the fixed point side. Now I press the brake shoes down so that the tension spring passes by the camshaft. Then I take the mounting lever and push the lower brake shoe into the correct position so that the cam roller lies on the camshaft and the fixed point side is hooked in. For an axle with ABS sensor, ensure that the lower brake shoe does not damage the sensor ring during installation. Next, we attach the fixed point spring. The spring is hooked in below and fixed in place using the hammer. Once we have checked the positioning of the brake shoes again, we can put the drum on. After we have positioned the drum, we check once more that the dust cover doesn't rub against the drum. Now we can put on the wheel. The final step is to readjust the automatic slack adjuster and check the brake. Then the brake shoe replacement is complete.